Hello, everybody. Welcome to another video. I am here with my best buddy in the whole world, Eric. Hey, yo, someone forgot to pay the light up. <laughs> and uh, we're going to be talking about underrated Hot Wheels cars today. This is going to be a seven-part video. Uh, sorry that it's been kind of delayed. Uh, I've, we, 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 we are adults. We get busy. We got to do stuff, so... Um, yeah, but we're, we're finally here with part one, but, uh, yeah, we're just gonna be giving opinions on these cars that we've gone through and selected. We have a lot of cars to discuss. Uh, it's gonna be in seven parts because there's 70 cars to talk about, so each video is gonna have 10 cars in it. I might have miscounted, so one of the videos might have, like, 11 cars or something, but, um, yeah, we, we went through and selected cars and thought of cars... Which was really hard to do because it's like you got to remember every freaking name of cars that you don't have in your collection that you probably want to talk about that people probably don't care about. So, um, anyway, Eric, if, Eric, do you want to do a little a little intro for yourself? Uh, okay, yeah. Um, so there's a thing called the portal. There's a thing called um, the wheel tower, um, and those were the things from my childhood that I loved the most when it came to Hot Wheels, and also, um, just, 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 just working on this, uh, is, is amazing, like, I get to do this with, like, my number one homie, like, we just get to talk about cars and reminisce in the past, and just love all of, and just love the Hot Wheels that came out in the iconic die castings and shit and so yeah i've been so yeah me and him we've been hot wheels fans since ps3 carried that shit over to ps4 we about to fucking get it so all y'all strapping strapping your fucking seat belts get your fucking move because we're gonna go through a hell of a fucking storm realm <laughs> all right <laughs> quite the intro <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah Just cut the intro Build that out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, um, uh, let's get into it. Um, I sound like <laughs> freaking stupid trying to start this. But <laughs> anyway, uh, so our first car is. Uh, I think this is. Oh Jesus! Is this quick and slick, or is this asphalt assault? It's asphalt assault. It is okay. I believe you, but I want to double check. Asphalt Assault Hot Wheels. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. We're good. I didn't want to look like a moron, so. Because I was like, oh yeah, it's quick and slick. Anyway, so, um. Uh, yeah, you know, I don't really hear anybody talk about this car. Um, this is actually the. I think one of the recent releases of this car, this is an actual Hot Wheels ID car. Um, I love the color scheme on it. I, I'm a big sucker for purple, so... Um, especially if it's comboed with silver, like... Oh, yeah. The, the silencers yeah. Are, are my favorite team from Accelerators, but it's more of, like, the color combinations of the cars that I really like the most, so... Anything with, mm -hmm. like, silver, black, and purple, and, and, and shit like that, I, I really like, so... Um, I, I want to get this ID car. It's really cool. I like this one. It's got a... The the decals are, are kind of eh. I mean, they're not like super crazy on this one particularly, but I do like the color scheme. Um, but uh -huh. as far as the actual casting, I think the casting is actually pretty cool. Um, I don't really see this car very often, and I don't really hear many people talk about this one, but... Uh, it kind of has the front end of, like, uh, oh, you know what, this, this reminds me a lot of a, of a, uh, Acura RSX. Yeah, yeah, it does, it does. Um, let's see if I, I'm checking myself, too, so that way I know that I'm, uh, not being stupid. Okay, yes, yes, yes. okay, thank God. Yeah, it, it does. It does look. It does look a lot like a, a Acura RSX. I just, 
I gotta I gotta keep checking myself tonight so I don't look like a fucking moron. So. Yes, self check. We're good boys. Self check. Um, also, um, also as well, I have to say I do like the fact that the um that the decal on this one, the pattern design is very is very similar to that of um is very similar to that in structure of Sean's uh livery on his Evo from Tokyo Drift. Like I can see like the lines going up and then. Like the color coordination, like I do like that touch, and also, like um, I don't know if this was like probably me, if it was other people like saying the comments, but my first Hot Wheels car that had a JDM look to it or like was along the lines of Hot Wheels JDM was Asphalt Assault. So when I saw that, I was introduced into a world that I didn't even know of. I actually for I actually for a second thought that was based off a real car, it probably is. Because, like, I remember they used to have, like, um, on some certain wikis for cars, you could find, like, the bio. It's like, oh, the designer actually got inspiration from this model or from that model, but I don't know if they took it down. But, yeah, like, yeah, I don't know if anyone was really introduced to that car, like, first time as, like, a JDM, as, like, a Hot Wheels JDM, but that was the first Hot Wheels JDM I've ever, like, picked up in my life, and I've loved it ever since. Nice. Um, Here. I don't actually have this casting at all. I don't. I've never. I don't think I've ever actually owned this casting. Um, really? Yeah, I don't think I've ever actually owned this one. But oh, I, I really want to get this ID one because it's just the colors are so nice on it. So. Um, and plus, as well, you don't ever see wheels like that on Hot Wheels as often. Yeah, I, I'm kind of bummed that the Hot Wheels ID wheels are... I mean, it's cool that these are specifically for the ID cars, but I know in the coming future, people are going to start... or well, They've probably already been doing it. Um, fucking, you know, drilling the cars for the wheels. Because, I mean... Yeah. These in the future are going to become sought after, just like, I think, World Race and Accelerators. I... I think there's going to be a very small community of people that really liked these cars. I know there's nothing like... Like, obviously, Accelerators had the cartoons, and that's what made it so impactful. But I know that, like, talking with some people from... Or, like, collectors who are really old, like, when the Real Riders first came out, everybody was super, like, oh, these are so cool, and then, like, people started drilling them, and then all of a sudden Mattel's just like, oh, yeah, we're not making these that for that long so then it kind of became like oh yeah. shit and now like the original real writers i think they're from the 80s are like super expensive now so um but yeah it's something that i think might become kind of sought after in the future i don't know i mean uh the one of the recent releases of these id cars actually got canceled and i was able to actually get my hands on cars for uh reese because he really wanted the cars because they were they didn't have any where he was and i found him and i i sent some to him so he's super stoked about that oh, he, he's the one that told me that the the id cars are actually getting like stopped like those ones you can't find anymore um oh damn so i know we were on this one for a little bit so let's get to the next car all right i actually have this casting um this is a uh, semi-fast. I don't know which version of uh, semi-fast this is, but the one I have is like a similar green color, and it has the same mm -hmm. wheels. I think these are, I want to say, PM5s. I don't remember. I could be wrong. Um, but yeah, mine is like the similar green. This part of the engine's blue. And it has like blue stripes and stuff, and then uh, the rims are are silver. But yeah, uh, this is a really underrated casting. It's not really one that I particularly like. I think it's kind of cool. Like it's it's super wacky and different, but it's not a casting mm -hmm. that I'm like a, a fan of. Um, it is uh, it is pretty pretty interesting though i mean as from a design standpoint it's just kind of cool i guess um 
I, I think if it had... I, I think the other thing, too, is, like, the colors. Like, if this wasn't so freaking lime green and it came out... Like, I haven't seen this casting in other colors. This is really the only one I've seen. I had a hard time getting these freaking images, so I just got this one because this one I could easily get into the files without it being stupid and giving me an internet link, which I don't know, I still can't figure out how to get my computer to stop doing that. But, um, yeah, I don't know, I think, like, this would look pretty cool in a different color. I just don't really like it in the lime green, but, um, I don't know, what, what do you think? Yeah. Uh, I think it's, uh, I think it's nice. Like, the overall model is nice. Um, the lime green, the lime green, it, like, like, I don't know about you, but the lime green kind of makes me feel like I'm looking at a fucking, like, highlighter. Like, like, like if I just don't look at the fucking engine, I feel like I'm looking at, like, a highlighter. So I guess, like, maybe a color change, like you said, would be probably more suitable for it. But overall, I like the model. I like the design. It looks cool. Yeah, it's, it's pretty cool, too, that it's a six-wheeler Hot Wheels. There's... Like, uh, an okay amount of six wheeler Hot Wheels, but I don't think there's many that are kind of remembered or like it. I don't know. Six wheeled Hot Wheels cars are always pretty obscure. Um, so, you know, it's kind of cool that there's more than just like maybe two or three, uh, six wheeled yeah. ones. It, and, I'm, I mean, there is, like, the little Martian rover they made that has six wheels, but, I mean, that, that wasn't a fantasy casting. That's, like, based on the fucking Martian rover, so that doesn't count. <laughs> but as far as, like, the fantasy casting goes, the only, like, other six-wheeled vehicles I can think of, there's probably only, like, two or three I can think of. But, anyway, mm -hmm. um, you want to move on to the next one? or? Yeah, we can move on to the next. Okay. Oh, okay, so... Um, I think this is a very recent casting. Uh, this is Count Musula, I think is how you say it. Mm -hmm. um, I actually have this exact car. And when I first saw it, I was like, okay, I really like it. <laughs> like, I don't know. I, I, I was just instantly attracted to it. I think it looks really cool. You know what it really reminds me of, Eric? What? Some of the muscle cars in Burnout. Yep. Like, it has that, like, over, over-exaggerated muscle car, like, modern muscle car look to it that, like, a lot of the muscle cars had in the Burnout series. Especially, like, this, the simple paint job with the pinstripes. It just, I don't know, it screams Burnout to me. Not necessarily Burnout 3, maybe Burnout Revenge or Dominator, but, um... I don't know. I really like the way this car looks. I think it's a really cool casting. And I hope there is going to be, like, a Real Riders or, like, a, a uh, like, Treasure Hunt, Super Treasure Hunt version with, like, rubber wheels. Because I think it would look pretty cool. I, I don't really like these wheels. I forgot what they're called. It doesn't look that bad on this car. But I think this car would look cooler with some different wheels, maybe. Um, yeah. Yeah. But, like, I think the, uh, oh, what are they? The old school, or, like, the old school, f uh, blade wheels that they don't fucking put on cars anymore, I think would look pretty cool. Or the, the three-spoke, three-spoke, uh, three-spoke wheels. Um, I think, <laughs> I think five dots would look pretty cool on this thing, too. But, um. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I, I think it's a pretty cool car, uh, but w what are your thoughts on it, Eric? Uh, I think it's a pretty cool car. Like, body design-wise, I like the body design. Um, paint job, good choice. Uh, even the vinyl's a good choice. The wing, I like. Although, although like, I, although, like, I wish there was, like, a second version of it where it had, like, a ducktail wing, because I think that would be, like, pretty epic. Um, as for the wheels, um, a different change of wheels would be nice. Like you said, the five dots, five dots would be probably uh, a little bit better, but yeah, overall I like this, but yeah, 
I think it would look really cool with um, so one thing I always do with the Ford GT in any game is I give it a yellow paint job with black pinstripes um, mm -hmm. I, I don't know why I just I love that color scheme on the Ford GT and I would love to see like a yellow and black version of this the only downside is like it would kind of look like Bumblebee so <laughs> eh. but I think the Ford GT kind of like made that yellow and black kind of color scheme work so yeah I mean I don't know it uh or maybe maybe like a white with blue would work cool as well like a blue car with white stripes would look pretty sick on this but um yeah true but uh yeah that's all i got for this one so on to the next wait can i click out view actual size okay hold on all right so um this is a uh, nitro door slammer uh, this is actually the uh, <laughs> I had to I had to uh, crop this image to get it, and like I could not get a freaking downloadable image of this. So I'm actually I don't I don't like this zoom in. So we're gonna go to view actual size. Sorry that it's small people, but I hate it with being it being that big. But if you're Hot Wheels fanatics, you'll know what the cars are. So, um, yeah. So I I really like this casting. Um, I have uh one of the. Mm, I don't remember what year, maybe 2007 or 8, or maybe even 9, I don't remember. I was, I went to Disneyland, okay, a very long time ago, and in our hotel, I found this car, it's the lime green version, I found it, under uh, our bed at the hotel I was staying at when I went to Disneyland, and I did not know what the fuck, like, I knew it was a Hot Wheels car, obviously, but I was just like, whoa. Like, I had never fucking seen it before. And so it was it was very new to me. And I, I kind of just instantly liked it. I don't know. It, it was really cool. I, and I also didn't understand, like, that it was supposed to be a dragster. Because it has the, uh, the movable wheelie bar underneath the car. And so oh. I was like, what the fuck is this thing? Like, <laughs> I think I broke it off because I don't have it on mine. I still have it, too. I still have the one I had from Disneyland. Um, so I, I, I broke off the wheelie bar because I didn't really like it. But I didn't understand what it was as a kid. So, But if I ever get this casting again, um, I'm going to take care of it, obviously. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it was, it was cool. I'm, I'm happy I found it. And I don't know. I just I really like this car. I don't know why something about it just I think it's cool looking I don't it's it's subtle and kind of simple but it also has like enough to where it has a personality to it so that's why I, I really like this car but that's all I got to say about it um, what are your thoughts Eric hello uh thoughts honestly uh i like it you know at first when i saw this i was like i was like that muscle car i was like that is actually nice i didn't even i i didn't actually know it was a dragster and all the pictures i looked at it i didn't see the removable wheelie bar or maybe i just wasn't looking at the right photos but this car now that i'm looking at it and like we've progressed a little bit like throughout the years where we've seen more cars appear this like nitro door slammer reminds me of the mach 40 honestly now that i look at it which which honestly i i i, I hope along some lines in the future completely completely opposite for it so y'all want to have your debates about this have your fucking debates about this i really want ford to like remake the moth Re remake the Mustang as a fucking SUV. Like, if you make it an electric muscle car, please make it something like Nitro Door Slammer for fuck's sake. Anywho, aside from that, yeah, love the model. Um, I wish I owned it. I've never actually owned that model in my entire life, which is making me a little sad. But overall, nice car. Overall, nice model. I would, I would love to own it. I'm surprised you don't have this one. I thought you, I thought you would have had this one. 
No, honestly, the most ironic thing is that I have Hot Wheels 40, but I don't have Door Slammer. Hmm. It's the most ironic shit ever. <laughs> Alright, so <laughs> next up we got... Uh, is this quick, quick and Sick? I think so, yeah. Yeah, okay. I actually... Um, I like this version of the car. Uh, I've seen some other later releases, and I'm not... I don't know, I don't really like the paint schemes, but this one has the sparkly blue paint and the PR5s on it, so most of the times when I see a car with, like, PR5s, it, it kind of, like, gravitates me towards it more. I don't know, I'm a sucker for PR5 wheels, and so, I, I don't know, I just think they look really fucking good on most cars that are supposed to look, like, more exotic or tuner-like, and... I really like this version yeah. of this car. Um, there's a very recent release of it for the mystery models, and it was supposed to be kind of like a security Area 51 vehicle, and it was it was okay. It was kind of weirdly colored. Like the windows, I think, were gray, and like the interior was like yellow, and then the body was red. And I didn't really like the color scheme. I didn't like the wheels on it either. Um, but uh, I li I like this version of this car. I think it's I think it's pretty cool. It it reminds me of like like I, I hate to say a Supra, but it reminds me of like a Supra that's been like extremely over exaggerated and like squished. And I don't know. It's it's weird. I don't know. It's got like well, actually no. These kind of look like 350 lights. Like this actually looks like a more like a 350 front end to me. But the back, like, with the spoiler, kind of reminds me of the Supra. This part, like, these weird bumps, I think these are supposed to be, like... Are this supposed to be, like, an air scoop for the, the engine? Because I think... Well, I don't know. I don't know. I think the engine might be in the front of the car. But, um... Yeah, I don't know. It's it's kind of like a combination of a couple of different JDM cars, but also, like, really squished and just really weird looking. So... The complete back half of this car is also kind of funny. The front looks better than the back. Um, I think if this wing was a different style wing or lower, it'd look a little different. But most of the car is squished in the front, so this pops up in the back to give it like a different volume, I guess. But um, yeah, I don't think it's a bad car. I don't really hear people talk about it that much. Um, it's not one that's usually on my radar either, but, um, yeah, I don't know. What, what do you think, Eric? Um, I like it. I like this model. Another one that I have not owned, which I'm disappointed with myself how I didn't own this fucking thing. I want to own this. Like, I will actually pay money to own this again. Um, I like the wing. I like the, I like the design of it. Um, the PR5s are a nice touch. And I do see what you mean with the whole Supra thing. I do see that. Um, overall, I like it. So, Loki. did you have this car before? Because you said that you wanted it again, but... No, no, I like to... No, I like to own it. No, no, sorry. Not again. I like to own it. I never actually had it. Oh, okay. At least that I don't remember. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've never had this one until I, I recently got the Mystery Models one, um, which I, I've i seen it. I've seen this car before. I just never really paid attention to it and didn't know what it was until, like, I saw it on the Mystery Models, and I was like, oh, okay, you know. Like I, I, like, I think I've seen this car, but I never really acknowledged it sort of thing. So, next one. Ah, yes. <laughs> I love this car. <laughs> this one's so cool. So... Um, I actually used to have this exact casting, like, with the paint and everything. I think this came... Shit. I think it came from a track set. Um, something to do with snakes. Uh, because on the... Mm -hmm. on, on the hood is, a like, a, a cobra or something. But, uh, sadly, I don't have this one anymore. Uh, the one I, that I do have has five dot wheels. And it's, like, a... It's supposed to be, like, a... Uh, a male, like a like a UPS vehicle. I don't want to say UPS, but like a 
you know, males, uh, um, uh, a mailman vehicle or something like that, I guess. I don't know. Or international something delivery. I don't remember. I, I was actually going to be reviewing this for my mystery, um, mystery review series, but I dropped the car, <laughs> and it's somewhere over where my other cars are, and I don't know where the fuck it went, so... Um, I can't look at the actual casting to tell what the fuck is on it, but I know it's like a bluish gray, and the car is solid metal. I think this one might be solid metal too. I can't tell, but um, oh, damn! I mean, this this thing kicks ass on the downhill. I went to Ed's, which is a for those of you who don't know, Ed's is a, a place I go to to buy Hot Wheels cars. And when I first got this car, I was just like, okay, I want to see how well it does on the downhill, and it smoked everybody, like, 20 times in a row, it's, it's such a freaking heavy car, the only downside is, like, this little side thing opens up, like, that's the gimmick of the car, it's called Sidekick, um, so, you know, sometimes, like, if that opened up, it would get caught on the side rail of the track and flip off or whatever, but, um, other than that, I mean, if you just super glue that sucker into place, like, this is a great downhill car, like you that you don't even need to modify or anything. It's so freaking heavy, and it's wedge shape and ground clearance. I mean, it's a little, it's got a little bit of high ride height, so it might jump a bit. But if it's on a smooth course, it hauls ass. So it's a great looking car, great for downhill racing, and um, I, I don't know. I just I really like this car. It's also well, I don't know if I... No, actually, no. The, the image isn't flipped because the words would be flipped. So, yeah. This car is actually a right, right-hand right drive car. So, kind of cool. Because the engine's on the left. Nice. Right-hand drive. Um, I don't know what the car is supposed to be based off of. I think it's just a wedge car. Like, the Italians make a lot of wedge cars. So, maybe it's supposed to be a European-style <laughs> wedge race car or something. I don't know, but... I think it's a cool car. I like the little gimmick it has, and um, I don't really hear anybody talk about this one. I don't know if this car even had a lot of releases. Um, this is, I think, like I said, I think this is a track set version. Um, but I think the other one that I have might be a main line. But yeah, I really like this car. I think these wheels look sick on it too. I think it looks really good. It looks great in five dots as well. But um, what do you think, Eric? Uh, I like I, I love the car. I actually owned, um, I actually owned it when uh, uh, the model I owned had like a red line version, and and like it and, and like it was like um, I don't know if it was like a pearlescent blue or like a metallic blue, um, but it had like red line to it. And my grandpa gave it to me, and then my grandpa passed away. I was like, no, I'm not worthy of this car, because like he freaking owned that. And I was like, no, I'm not worthy. So like, I, so like, obviously he's buried with the car. So, but yeah, no, I I like, I like I, I like it. It's one of those gimmick cars that Hot Wheels did, that isn't only just great in performance. It's just a nice, simple gimmick that works, and that's what, that's for me like what makes it like, one of the most special castings I've ever owned, for like a period of time. Um, I would like to. I I would love to own it again. And overall, and overall, I like the design of it. It's too fucking simplistic for it to just be like, no, this is garbage. Like it's borderline simplistic, and it works. So I love it. Yeah. <clears throat> I think my favorite thing about this car is the engines on top. It's like. Oh yeah. It's it's so cool looking, and then. It's all bumpy and shit, and it's like solid metal, so it's it's really cool. And then, I think they're supposed to be V8s. It looks like two V8 engines. I can't really tell. Um, shit. If you think about it, this is sort of like a predecessor to Spinebuster. <laughs> True. True. <laughs> um, but backwards. <laughs> it's it's completely backwards. It's it's supposed to be swapped. So, can I swap the image? Yeah. Let's see. No, never mind. Fuck it, we don't have time. Anyway, next car. Ah! Ah! ah. Fucking love this. Oh my god, I fucking love this car. I'll let you go uh. first, Eric. <laughs> Alright, so, 
this beautiful motherfucker right here, Boomed Furiosity. That that's um, that's that's the name you'll see if you ever search it up. It it says Tuned Furiosity, which makes me think like, was there ever just a normal Furiosity? But but I think they just put Tuned for some reason. I don't know why they put Tuned because there's because it's the only one. I don't think they ever made a second one unless they did. Unless that's the second one. I don't know. Anyway, that car. Oh, <clears throat> I have a personal, personal fucking thing with this car because number one, uh, it is one of the first Hot Wheels I've ever owned in my entire life uh, since I was a kid. And two, look at this thing. This thing, the overall design is fucking sick. It's sleek. It looks aggressive. You know, it's it, it, it's a car that has attitude, especially like the fucking, um, uh, what are those things called? I don't want to look stupid. Those things on the hood, uh, what are they called? Like the cylinder heads? Oh, those are, um, uh, um I can't think of what those are right now. Um, uh, fucking okay. Ballistic has them too, and I can't think of what they are. They're not... Yeah! Uh, it's 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 kind of weird because like I I want to say I know what it is, but at the same time I don't. Mm. Like, yeah, same. It, 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 well, because well, like I the, mean, anyway, the, the air that, goes into that, the top of the engine, so I don't know if those are the intake pipes. Maybe, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> maybe I don't know. I don't know. We will. Re I don't know. I'm gonna research this after this video, but I but I love those, and especially like. Like I think, like I think, Furiosity is one of like a unique thing about it, because this is just from me not really seeing much Hot Wheels with this feature, but they actually put, but they actually made carbon on the hood. Not, like they painted carbon on the hood. Most Hot Wheels, you'll literally see most Hot Wheels that I've seen, it'll be like a matte black like carbon. Where you don't actually see the details of the carbon, which is kind of unique, and then also the exposed inner cooler. And by the way, if anything, this thing, if it has a relative, like real life comparison car, Infinity G35, two door, fucking two door. Which. Oh, yeah, I can actually see that. Yeah, and like, and like, ever since, and like, ever since that comparison, I've. I've actually wanted. I, I bet I'm hoping that someone takes an Infinity G35 and rebuilds it, and 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 like uses inspiration from Curiosity to actually like rebuild it. I want to see how that fucking looks because that will be sick. But overall, I love this car. This specific paint, I love. The wheels, I love everything about it. I love also it's the poster child of the 2000, either 2001 or 2005 or 2003. Like I forget, like I forget which editions, but it's the poster child. And I have that bitch on my shelf. Probably gonna be worth something later, but yeah, I love this car. Personal connection with this car, Devlin. <laughs> the thoughts from the mad scientist. <laughs> um, so I think this came from. Like, the, the poster child thing you're talking about. Uh, I think it's from, like, 2004 to, uh, maybe 6. I don't remember. Because what I remember about the card art for Hot Wheels cars is, I think it was Seared Tuner, Showstopper Seared Tuner, whatever you want to say, was first, and, I, and then I think Furiosity came afterwards. Because before Showstopper, it was that weird... It was the back mm -hmm. of a car taking off for the 90s. And I don't know what that car is either uh, for that. But, um, yeah, I think Furiosity was from, like, 2000... Maybe 2003 to 2000... 2005 or 6. I don't, I don't really remember. Because at the same time, they started putting the actual cars that are in the package on the card art as well at a certain time right after Acceleracers. So, um, it, I don't think Furiosity got, like, a long time run for it being for the Cardar. I know that, like, Showstopper 
it seemed like Showstopper had a lot more time on card art than Furiosity did. Um, mm -hmm. I'll have to do some research into that. But, um, yeah, you know what's funny is you were the one that told me about this car. I didn't know what Furiosity was. But then when you mentioned it's the car on the card art, and I'm like, well, maybe it's that other one he's talking about because I know the one on the card art that I know of is Showstopper. So I'm like, okay, that makes sense. And then you show me a picture of this one. I'm like, oh, fuck, it is the one on the card art. And it's funny because, like, I didn't know that this was an actual casting. I thought that was just, like, artwork for the time. <laughs> so, you know, it was it was really cool to find out that this was an actual car. And, like, it's fucking cool. I, 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 I think I remember the card art for Furiosity more than I do Showstopper as a kid. And <laughs> I don't know. I, I really like that card art a lot, and I, I do miss it. It is really cool. Um... But yeah, this is probably one of the most underrated Hot Wheels cars of all fucking time. Like, everybody sees it, but I don't think anybody really talks about it. So, um, I I definitely think this one deserves a lot of attention for how, like, it, no one... I, you, Eric, you're probably the only person I know that's ever talked about this car. And I mean, I don't know about it. I didn't know about it until you mentioned it. So, I mean, that, that kind of proves it right there, but... Um, I mean, out, outside of, like, Reese, I think he would instantly know, obviously, but, I mean, he's never really mentioned it, but, um, I mean, I, I think this car is awesome. I, I agree, I think the carbon on the hood is such a cool touch, and I think Showstopper should have that shit, too, um, but it never did, it just had, I think, well, no, maybe, maybe it did, and I, I just, I'm not thinking, but, um, I could be wrong. <laughs> I'll have to... I'll have to find a showstopper and look it up. But um, it's really funny. The more I look at this, it kind of reminds me, of, and I, it's going to sound cringy, but it kind of reminds me of Synchro a little bit. But, um, <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I, I think this would look pretty sick at, with um, CM6 wheels, too. I think they would look really cool. If I ever, which uh, I know a guy who's 3D modeling and printing, well, a, a guy's another guy's doing it for him, but the guy that I know is selling CM6 wheels, like 3D printed <clears throat> CM6 wheels, with, and he's trying to get the rubbers. But um, I'm gonna buy a bunch of him from uh, a bunch of them from him. And you know what's funny as fuck is uh, I mentioned like, hey, you know what'd be really cool if you could start 3D printing CM6 wheels, and he didn't tell me until I I talked to him in person, but he's like. I, I had these printed because you mentioned it and well actually I, what I asked at first because he didn't know it was me I'm like hey did you uh and I was joking with him like did you did you print these because I mentioned it and he's like yeah I actually did and I'm like no way so like I actually <laughs> I was actually able to like get a guy to make CM6 wheels and like I'm so stoked because now I can start making customs with CM6 wheels and I think the Furiosity would be so cool with CM6 wheels and rubber on them. So um, I'm pretty stoked for that. I don't actually have this casting at all. I don't have it in a card. I don't have it loose. So I don't know where I'm going to get one of these. I've never even seen it in person. So I'm going to have to keep my eyes open and see if I can find one. But um, anyway, yeah, I think it's a really cool car. Uh, I love the way it looks. And it's... Uh, it's very, it, it's got a really cool over-exaggerated design, but it's still very, very subtle at the same time. Like, it's still very practical, I guess. It's not, like, too much. So, it's pretty cool. Yeah. But, um, yeah, and you are right. If for some reason it's just called Tuned Furiosity, which I just looked it up because I'm like, I thought it was just Furiosity, but, yeah, I guess it's also just, I guess it just has two names. There's no difference, difference. Like it's just this car exactly, and then it, it's. I guess I don't know. It's, I guess its full name is Tuned Furiosity, but I don't know. It's weird, but um, yeah. Anyway, moving on. Oh, is that it? No. Oh, it's because I was on the full screen. Okay, so <laughs> uh, I actually have this exact casting. This came from a playset called uh it was like cyborg slime attack or some shit it was a really uh -huh. obscure fucking playset it was huge too it was fucking massive 
but you had like this big track that would like swing it was a swing arm and it would <laughs> you would move it and it would make the car go up in the air and then s go down the track and then it would smash into the face of the cyborg and the cyborg's head would open up and it it's, there was goo and slime and shit um but um yeah th anyway this is overboard 454 uh, I really love this car, like the casting. This specific one is my favorite, though, because I, I've had it in my collection since my childhood, so it's kind of a childhood nostalgia thing. Um, yeah. I didn't really grow more affection for the car until a lot later. Like, I want to say, like, a couple years ago, I, I really started to get more attached to this car because at first, I didn't really care for the car that much. Like, I just had it. But the other thing, too, is this is the car that replaced Taro's Roadrunner in Hot Wheels World Race. So it kind of, like, left a bad taste in my mouth. Like, man, I wish Taro's Roadrunner was in the game. Why does he have this other car that's not the car he had in World Race? Which, at the time, I didn't understand. Yeah. I didn't understand copyright shit. And I also didn't even know the name of, of Taro's car. I just knew what it looked like. And I'm like, it's not this one. <laughs> so, but, um, I mean, now that I'm older and I understand shit and, like, I realizing, like, how stupid I was, I was like, I don't care. In fact, I actually want the Scorchers fucking Overboard 44. I think it's fucking brilliant. And I think it's a, a perfect fucking car that they chose to replace the Roadrunner. And I think it's, I think it's cool. Um... This car was also in Stunt Show Challenge and Velocity X. The Velocity X version, I think, is the first editions, which is, uh, like, blue with white pinstripes, and it's really cool. Um, but, uh... Jeez. Yeah, so... Um... I... <laughs> my, my car, the engine on the front is, like, broken. So, I'm kind of bummed. Um, oh, damn. Yeah, it's a little banged up, because I, I played with it a lot. It... It's mainly due to the fact that as a kid, I mean, I still like the color green, but as a kid, I loved the color green so much that most of the cars that I had that were green, I played with the most. And <laughs> thank God, thank fucking God, my drone cars from my childhood are still in pretty decent good condition because, Jesus, <laughs> oh God, the amount of pain and suffering I'd be in if, if those cars were, were fucked up, like... I'm surprised oh, yeah. how well those cars held up, but I've been rambling on too much. Um, anyway, I, I like this casting. I think it's really cool. Um, but question, Eric, do you know what the car's name means? Um, I know you mentioned this to me like a little bit before. I will, I will say I do not remember. Okay. Um, yeah, it was funny because I, I can't remember if you were there in the chat or not. But I had asked everybody, like, in the PS4 chat when I was racing, I think it was, like, last week, and we were talking about how it was, like we always do, and I mentioned Overboard 454, and I'm like, do you guys know what the name means? And everyone's like, no. And I'm just like, oh, oh, oh. So, I'm like, which, yes, this is what it means. Um, <clears throat> so, Overboard 454, um, the 454 part is the engine type or the i guess the type of engine it is like the actual like not a v8 it, it's it's like a uh, it it's kind of like when someone says oh i put like a 242 or like a 386 engine you know v8 in my camaro blah 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 blah. like it's just a type of engine size not necessarily size but an engine built by the manufacturer and that's what they called it um i don't know what the numbers exactly mean whatever Overboring yeah. means uh, the cylinders, which the pistons sit inside, have been increased. So it allows, I think it's, it, it ex I think it gives like more expansion to the uh, explosion that happens inside the cylinders when the pistons hit the spark plug. So it increases more power. So it's a 454 engine that's been um, overboard. So, it's just a fucking badass V8 engine that's, like, souped up, I guess, to, to put it into simple terms. But, um, yeah, that's what it means. <laughs> so. 
Oh, nice. As a kid, nice. I, as a kid, I didn't know what the fuck the name meant either. I thought it was some kind of weird, like pirate, like walk the plank, you're overboard sort of thing. So I thought the car was like supposed to be a reference to like pirates or something. I don't know. It, I had a weird imagination. Um, yeah. But uh, yar, he be overboard four fifty four here, <laughs> you know. So um, anyway, but uh, yeah, I. I said a lot about this car. I, what do you What do you think, Eric? Honestly, I love this car. Um, I actually have a die casting of it. It's the black die casting where it has like the gray vinyls, where it literally says on the side "Overboard 454" with like the green version of the wheels. That like, I love the model. I love the design of it. I I, I love how Hot Wheels gets creative when it comes to cars and like open hood like exposed engines and just the and just the designs of it because they really go into like because like you can look at it and you can see and, and and you could see like the muscle car culture through like almost every single like aerodynamically fine line on this thing and plus and plus like one thing and plus one thing that i did one, one thing that did capture my eyes about it was that at first when I looked at it, I couldn't see the headlights. So then when I finally like put it in the right light and I got a shape of the headlights, I immediately imagined in my head what the headlights would be if they were clear. And I'm like, holy crap, this is fucking badass. So like, I just loved it even more after that. But, um, excuse me, shit. Um, but yeah, no, this is, this is a very underrated model i think that um i don't know it's up for debate whether or not this should be a die cast that hot wheels like keeps bringing back or why they're not they just leave it either way love it love it yeah i think um i think the front and the back of this car look great i don't think there's any part of this car that looks boring i think like mm -hmm. i mean i'm some people might not like the back of it but i i really like the the like quad tail lights it has like the corvette looking tail lights and uh, i like how the under part of the car is s pushed up more so you can make this car like pop wheelies <laughs> which is cool and oh yeah this this front end's a little shaved up too so it, it, it's a great track car for like loops and shit so perfect car for like track sets and it, the wheels are really tucked under nice so they won't bend or anything but uh yeah, I, I love this car. Also, it's got a little gas cap feature here, which is really cool. Um, but, uh, yeah, pretty sick. Anyway, next car. I hope we still have more cars. Oh, yes, we do. Okay. I'm, I'm losing count, so. Um, uh, this is probably one of the most underrated Hot Wheels of all fucking time. And... A lot of that has to do because of its fucking name and what this car is. And I understand that a lot. Like, I understand where people are coming from. But I grew up with this car. This exact fucking casting, like this paint job and everything, I had this one. This was one of my favorite cars to play with when I was a kid. And, you know, I didn't think of anything of it. I just loved this fucking car. And as I got older, obviously, I understood, like... Oh, it's a second version of Twin Mill. It's Twin Mill 2. Um, you know, blah, blah, blah. But I fucking love Twin Mill 2, especially this paint scheme. Uh, the Dragon one is also cool, too, but um, I don't know. I, I really like this one a lot. Uh, overall, I think this car deserves more love. Uh, I understand that the original Twin Mill is untouchable and can't be replaced, but... There's a Twin Mill 3, and Twin Mill 3 is liked more than Twin Mill 2. It, Twin Mill 2 is like the middle child that is lost and forgotten, that no one gives a fuck about. Uh, it's like the, it's also like the R33. Everybody hates the R33. Everybody loves the R32 and the R34. It's like the same shit. It's just the the middle child. So, um, I I don't know. I I really like this car. I can't say much about why I like it. Like, it's just, a, it's really a nostalgia thing, which I don't give a fuck, though, because no one likes this car, so I think I 
get a pass to say like this is sort of a guilty pleasure uh you know nostalgic car and it's you know one i grew up with that i i even forget about it sometimes because of how like no one talks about it and it does make me a little sad but i appreciate the car for what it is and it's definitely a car that is like overshadowed by its father <laughs> or it's, or you know it, it's it's or big brother i guess i should say um i i don't know it's just it's a bummer because i think it's a really cool take on another version of um twin mill and you know it's very 90s it's very 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 fucking 90s and like it's cool mm -hmm. i i really like it but um i love this paint job too like it's got like it's not it's like a a red with like a uh like a bit of purple or blue and then it's it's a really light red it's like almost pink but um yeah yeah this was like the video game series cars series of cars for the main line and this is the final fight car which i think is supposed to be like street fighter or something i don't know um but i think it's cool i uh i always thought this car was supposed to be like mortal kombat because the first thing i can think of as like a fighting video game or something like or anything related to fighting like mortal kombat was the the first thing that introduced me to like martial arts or people beating the shit out of each other um so this car i always thought of like oh it's a mortal kombat car um so i don't know i just i was really liked the paint job and shit but um yeah anyway uh can i get this big or is it gonna look like shit oh actually it looks pretty good bigger <laughs> cool so what do you want to say about it Aaron? uh honestly uh i have to agree with what you say man like first off <laughs> automatically this motherfucker looked like the middle child no questions but <laughs> he really does look like the middle child and the design is very very 90s when they were starting to like experiment with the smooth design with like the smooth lining of cars when they started looking like when they started like looking like blobs yeah. and and like when they were making concepts instead of like how before like most concepts were almost boxy sharp edge aerodynamic where they were trying to make it aerodynamic but also smooth and all that shit like that I also love and plus as well one very striking feature of this twin mill is how is how short the back end is because like i because like i've seen pictures of it from the back end and the back end is one of the most unique things about this also not to mention how the engines are fucking placed and how the and how the and how the exhaust in the engine fucking comes out is really unique um this kind of twin mill i would like to have because i had the first twin mill and the third one i have not had the second one i would actually like to own this and this paint job lit as fuck and i actually like the wheels the wheels are a nice touch overall i love this model and i would love to own it yeah um, I think some people might look at this and complain about the intake here because, like, they're sitting sideways. And some people might get confused and think, like, the exhaust comes out of here. But, no, the air mm -hmm. goes into here, goes down into the supercharger, into the engine, then goes underneath the car, throughout, and then comes out the back. So, I think this is, oh. I think this is just a design for the toy. And like toy form but i think the actual artwork or what i think the designer imagined is that this pipe sticks out the farthest and then this goes in and then this goes in and then this goes in so that way there's it, because this being flat doesn't make any sense in terms of like uh -huh. airflow like if you look at hot rods with like the like the uh the intakes with the the pipes that go up the one farthest in the back is always the tallest and then it gets shorter because it's the air getting yeah. caught in the pipes so i think like these would be 
like, I mean, I know this is the toy version, so it doesn't have that, but I th I'd imagine, like, in the artwork or what they, you know, designed, it would be, like, long, tucked in, tucked in, tucked in, and then, like, there it goes in, but, um... Very true. Yeah, I think it's, I think it's a very underrated car, and I think, mm -hmm. it, I think it deserves a lot of love. Um, the more I look at it, it kind of reminds me of, like, an old Dodge Viper. Like, it's got the sort of viper front end it's like the rounded yeah and the bit of the wing shield kind of like if this was cut well you can kind of see it from this end it kind of has like that viper front but uh mm -hmm. i don't know uh but uh yeah really underrated car next car ah speed seeker <laughs> uh, i was like what's the name of it it's right there it's right there <laughs> So, yeah, but to Um, yeah. So this is a car that you chose uh, to be in the video, huh. or one of the videos. Um, and yes. uh, this one, I, I haven't seen this particular model, but I think this was one that I really like. Like the paint job on this one looks really good. I think the five dots mm -hmm. look good on it, but I think it would also look way cooler with like three spoke blade wheels or the the other like blade wheels i don't know um yeah uh, like um like those wheels swoopy do like that car swoopy do like how it had like those three blade wheels yeah um what should we call it uh yeah i think this is like a like a really wonky like i don't i'm not saying wonky isn't bad but i think this is like a really wonky looking design that reminds me of like a fucking like 1960s star trek episode thing or, or not even star trek but like a very low budget like sci-fi show like, yeah like a, a, a not a car but like a gun it reminds me of a gun like it looks like the ray gun to me you know what i mean like it has like a yeah, weird, yeah, I, like laser yeah, weapon shape. So, it I don't know. I think it, it's not a car that like screams, "Oh my god, that's so cool!" Like I want it. it. It's 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 cool to me. It's not like a personal favorite, but I will say I think this one is not talked about. <laughs> um, yeah. But uh, yeah, this is a car you chose. So how about you talk about it, Eric? So this car. Um... This car, I actually still have the model. It's the one where it has the Joker uh, on it, because I think it was like, because um, I think DC chose that as one of their like Batman uh, DC comic character cars, and they had the Joker on it. Um, and I, I do like the I do like the model. The model is very unique in its way. Um, I the the one thing that strikes me about it is the is the is the cylinders uh at the back like the like the intakes or or the headers at the back whatever oh these what, bumps? What, what, whatever yeah yeah those fucking things the the thing about that is that when i look at those it just makes me want to know what fucking ending what what fucking ending yes correct my fucking grammar ah! uh what fucking engine did they put in that thing like like, either it's a V8 or some kind of massive, like, E16 or whatever. I don't know. The question always just comes up to me. I never I never, I never really searched it. I might search it, but just curiosity I like about it. Also, I did mention this to, um, I did mention this to Devlin. I will say this for the people that, that are willing to do this. Look up the car on Google and look at it from a front view. Motherfucker looks like a goddamn mosquito head with wheels. It looks like the head of a freaking mosquito. Like, I can just see it. Like, the freaking front end is like the snout and the windows are like the freaking beady eyes. Or or maybe not even a mosquito, a freaking fly, for God's sake. Kind of reminds but, me um, of a, I can see it as a mosquito or like a dragonfly. Yeah. It also reminds, but, me, no, of, uh, it reminds me of the spaceships from Galaga, too. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. Shit. But, yeah, no. Car overall is nice, unique in style. I like it. Uh, 
personal favorite, but yeah, like it overall. Um, I think for its design, I don't know if it's supposed to be... I think it's supposed to be just like a weird futuristic race car, but it kind of reminds me of a Doom Buggy because of like these, you know, big fenders. Like there would be like a big, long uh, strut. And, um... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, it, it looks like it looks like a concept of the Aerial Atom. It looks like a full like body rendered version of the Aerial Atom, dude. You now that I'm looking at it. Yeah. Yeah. And I think these bumps in the back are supposed to just be, like, openings. Because obviously the engine's supposed to be in the back. So, like, I don't think this is a part of the engine. I think there's supposed to be, like, exhaust slits or air, mm -hmm. air slits so air can come into the back where the engine is. And yeah, things like that. I don't know. I, I don't really know what it's supposed to be. But it is cool. I, I like the way it looks. I think this car would look pretty cool as, like, a, a police car, too car too like a weird futuristic police car i don't know um yeah and then eric do these do these open um maybe i i, I don't know uh, when i searched it it didn't really say any i didn't really see any like unique uh features of uh, of it opening maybe maybe it did open maybe it does i have no idea yeah Cause like I thought I thought, thought thought I saw a photo with like these up or something, but I think somebody was fucking around with it and doing a custom or whatever. But um, yeah, I couldn't find the Joker one online, but I just got this one because I could get it in the files. So um, yeah, yeah, the version of this car that I see all the time is I think it's green, and I think it's like one of the very first releases of it from like the 90s mm -hmm. and I think it has like a pink like splat paint on it I don't remember um, Ooh. and I think the windows are pink too uh, or clear I don't I don't remember I've never I don't think I've ever actually bought this car um, but I have seen it in person a couple times but um yeah I think it's okay I think it looks pretty good in five dots I don't really well Blade wheels would look cool, too. I think I said that earlier, but... Um, I don't think the five dots look too bad. I think it looks pretty good, but... Uh, yeah, that's all yeah. I really got to say about this, but I think that's our last car on the... Yeah, yeah this is our last car on the list, so... Um, shit. Yeah, shit. I don't know how long it's been, but... <laughs> anyways, uh, <laughs> I guess we just wrap up the video and shit like that, but... Um, thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll see you in another video next time. Um... If anybody wants to leave car suggestions down in the comment section, uh, we will happily add them to our list and do a fan, uh, a fan, fan car, fan, I can't fucking speak. Um, we um, will do a, we will do a fan favorite car review from all you guys with your comments in the comment section. Thank you, Eric. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, with that said, uh, we'll, we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching, and um, uh, eat, eat, eat your vegetables and uh, exercise. And, uh, and, 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 uh, and uh, make sure Tesla pays his light bill. Yeah. Please. Yeah, because we're, we're stuck in the dark. We're stuck in the dark right now. It's okay, stuck in the it's, fucking it's, dark, it's, man. It's very, it's very dark. Like, the whole scene... Everybody thinks the scene when, when Galorum shows up lasts a long time. Or, or, or lasts, like, five minutes. It's... it's No, it doesn't... It, it takes forever. It takes forever. Okay, it takes Dude, a long time. like... <laughs> like, it takes forever. We don't even have the Storm Realm Accelerator, for fuck's sake. We can't see in the dark. We're not even at the, <laughs> We're not even in Accelerators yet. We're in, we're in World Race still. I know, but I'm breaking the paradigm. Well, no, look, stop. <laughs> We're trying to put logic into this. There's no point. Anyway, our joke is bad. Anyway, um, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. <laughs>